Groupon isn't the only company aiming for a more well-heeled customer, along with the higher prices they typically pay for goods and services. Amazon.com now looking to open a new section offering one-of-a-kind paintings and prints and other fine art. Our Robert Frank has more. The idea of buying a multi-million dollar Picasso online once seemed surreal, but now it's becoming a reality. Media reports say that Amazon, the online retail giant, is looking to start selling fine art online. It would team up with galleries around the country and sell works for a small commission. Amazon declines comment. Currently, the most expensive pieces sold in the art category on Amazon are posters, prints, and watercolors, most of them priced at under $400. Amazon's move into the high-end art world could accelerate a sweeping shift from white-walled galleries and VIP auction rooms to the wide-open digital screen. Already, the big auction houses and galleries are doing a big business selling fine art and collectibles online. More than $1.5 billion of Christie's sales last year went to online bidders at its regular auctions. The company sold this Edward Hopper painting called October on the Cape to an online bidder for $9.6 million. The company also sold a Shang Dynasty bronze wine vessel for $3.3 million to an online buyer. Sotheby's and Christie's have both developed online bidding platforms. When Christie's auctioned off the collection of Elizabeth Taylor for $183 million, it included an online-only sale. Those 1,000 pieces auctioned off totaled $9.5 million, about nine times the pre-sale estimates. The big question is how the major art galleries will react to another retail competitor. None would comment on the air, but one gallery owner telling me today, quote, we don't sell fine art online and we probably never will. Time will tell whether that remains a good strategy. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Robert Frank.